Dance DJ. <laughs> Good day guys, welcome to Noble Creative Digital Market Agency. How are you guys are doing great? So in today's tutorial, we'll be dealing on how to design a church program. It just for us. So that was so much of time, let's get down into the business of today. So I'll be bringing out the color um the, the flyer I have done before so I can pick out the color from it. So let me go to my PC lab and click on the flyer that I use. So I get this is it so that I can get the what? The um, what they call it? I can get actually get the exact color. So let's go. So I click on my gallery, then I bring up the um the background that I use. So I guess the background is my download. So let me search for the background. So I just take any one of it here, any one of it. I just bring one, bring one. So after I brought one, so the next I'm going to do right now is to go to my relative size. Then you increase it so can you see it so after you increase it the next thing you can do right now is to go to your 3d rotate then you give it y axis then you actually bring it down like this cool so this is what i actually want Good. so just make sure it's at the middle so just go to your relative position then you put it at the middle just make sure it's at the middle okay cool so i guess it is okay like this after that you lock it so after that, the next thing you go to do right now is so click on your plus button. You click on shapes, then you actually bring out this one. So after you do that, you increase it. Then you go to your plus button. So I want to give it that color. I have to bring out the color. Is that color? What I would like to do? I go to my color picker, then bring, then pick it up. Actually, this color. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to reduce your opacity a little bit. I actually use 90 for my opacity. If you have worked me very well, I only use 90 or 95 to do the opacity. Good. So I guess this is okay by me. So after that, I'm going to lock this one. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to write the encounter service with Prepress Money. So what am I going to do? I'm going to click on my plus button, then I click on test, then I click on E, only E. Good. So after I click on my only E, go, you go to your size, still click on the E. You click on the E, you go to your size, you increase the size. So after you increase the size, you go to your font, then you give it business demo. I really love the font. Business demo. So let's go to business demo. Go to business signature demo. So after that, you just increase it a little bit. Increase it like this. So after you increase this, leave it and you lock it. Then duplicate it. So I want to write a counter. So let me write my a counter. A counter. Good. So I'm going to give you a capital letter. Sorry, smaller work case. I mean, I'm going to delete the E. You know, you have everything already, already um written the E before. So I'm going to place it here. I'm going to reduce it a little bit. So I'm going to reduce this one to a little bit. So let me bring out this one. Then let me reduce this one a little bit. So it's cool. So just place it somewhere around here. Good. So you change the color. So all I'm going to do is go to your color. Okay, I should have shown you the color code for this one. So let me show you the color code for this one. Um, the color code is 002141. So this is the color code 002141. That is the color code for it. So let's go back. So now I have to give this one the color. So I'll click on my plus button again. Then you go to my texture. Sorry, go to my look. I like brush. Then I click on this. Then I cl I actually need to need to need to zoom in so that I can actually get my color that I want. Can you see it right now? So this is my color that wow 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 sorry for that. Oh, so this is actually the color that I want. So I click my okay. So let me actually show the color code. The color code is 05 F B F eight. Zero five F B F one F B 05 FB FA, so that is the, actually the color code. So let's go. 
So sorry guys, so let's continue our work. So just actually place it here. So you can actually reduce it a little bit then you place it here. So I, I will actually tell you the reason I reduce it. So after that you go to this one and give it this insert color. So you actually reduce it a little bit. So you place it on top of here. So after that the next time I'm going to do right now. So click on my plus button and I click on test. Then I click on service. A counter service. So I click on service, then I click on this, then I increase it a little bit. So I put it on like this, then I try to do it like this. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to my font, then I give you Montestra both Montestra black or extra boot. I think it's extra boot or black. Okay, let me check the black. It seems I like give it black, Montessora black. So I'm going to reduce it a little bit, then put it on the air. So now the reason why I bring out the first is because I want the E. I want the, the E to cover the X. So, oh, so what I'm going to do, I click on my layer, then I long press this place. That essentially I long press here. This place, this dot here, you long press it. Those dots you are showing here, you, you long press it. So can you see them? Put it under the E, so can you see it's it under the E right now? So, this is actually what I need. So, after that, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to click on my plus button, click from gallery, then I go to where my camera is. I just want to remove the um, background. So, what I'm going to do right now is to go and click on where is the image. So, this is the image that I use. So, I have to bring out the image first and place it here so I can see what I'm going. So, I'm trying to place it here so it actually go right now. So, after that, I'm going to lock it. So, after that, next thing to do right now is to click on your test, then you click on width, then you write width. Good. So, after you receive your width, then you go to your text font, then you change it to um, taken by a future. So, this is taken by a future font, taken by a future, taken by a future. So actually I'm going with this, so good. So you can come to your size here, yeah, then you increase the size so that you can actually drag it. So let's go. So I'm yeah, going to reduce it a little bit. Still reduce it a little bit. Still reduce it a little bit. Good. So after that, next thing I'm going to write now is to click on your plus button. You click on test, then you click on Prince Mendy. Prince Man D. So you change the capture letter. Good capture letter. Good. So after you're done with that, you go to your text. You go to your font. I mean, sorry, <laughs> text and font. So you give it semi bold or you give it medium. So I think semi bold is okay for it. So let's go. So you actually decrease it a little bit. You decrease it a little bit. Then you place it here. So you can see that everything is plumping. So after that, there's something you need to do now. So the thing I want to do is a cutter semi with Prince Mendy, no more setback. So I'm going to click on my test. Then I'm going to click on no more. So no more. So no more first should be in capital letter. Cool. So after that, I'm going to give it another font. And that's the same thing with my Tesla font. So I'm going to find the one that actually go with it. So let me go with extra bold. So extra bold is actually okay. So what am I going to do right now? Next time I'm going to do is to place it here. So just make sure everything is well aligned. So after placing it here, the next time I'm going to do now is to copy it. Then I write setback. No more setback. No more setback. Good. So you give it capture letter. Then you go to your color. Then you give it actually this color. So you can see right now. So you increase it a little bit. They can put it up a little bit. Stay put it so okay. So it's okay like this. So just put it up like this. Go. So we are actually moving. We are moving. We are moving. We are moving. We are moving forward. So no, no, the first thing I did yeah. So the next thing I did here is to click on my plus button here. Yeah. You click on shape. So you click on this. Um, this actually you uh, reduce the opacity to zero. This opacity you reduce it to zero, then you, then you increase the stroke to actually something like okay. So I'm going to check it if going to okay, be okay with this. So it's actually okay with the X. So I'm going to give it a stroke of 12. Sorry, so you can give it any stroke of your choice. Then I change the color to this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually do something like this, do something like this. So you just have to be careful with this. So you just have to be careful. Then you move it there. So I think the stroke is too much. So what am I going to, what am I going to do? Let me do the stroke a little bit. So 
So let me give you something like it. So let me set it where. Let's set it to a so can it actually see that it is okay right now. So it is okay now. So what am I going to do right now? The next thing now is after I have seen it that it is okay. So the next thing I'm going to do right now. Let me do it something like this. So let's check it. So let's see. Let's drag it up a little bit. Just have to be careful when doing it. So let's say it's okay like this. So it is actually okay like this. So what am I going to do right now? The next thing I'm going to do right now is to click on my plus button again. Click on shape. I actually reduce this a little bit. Click OK. Then you place it here. You place it where that is stop. So from here. From here. Yeah. Where that is where the X stop. So just how to be. See where I'm looking at this point. Actually, this is what I'm looking at. So you should also be careful when looking at the point. So just, just be careful with it. So just move it up a little bit so that it won't show that it is not from the S. Okay. So I'm okay. It is okay like this. So after they can duplicate it, then you place this one up here. You place it here whenever you want it to stop. So let me say I want to stop it here. So it's okay like this. It is okay like this. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to click on your plus um your layer. Then you mesh this one together. This three you mesh it together. Good. So after you mesh them together, the next thing to do right now is to go to your um to your erase color, erase color, not eraser, erase color. You click on it. Then you click on this. So can you actually see that it is okay with it? So you click on it. Then you can actually set your this thing very well here. So you can actually zoom it. Zoom your work, then you set it away. So that's how I call actually got this. It is not any other, it is not any font, just that I, I use my Mendula or Blagasta to do it. So can you see it now? So before you zoom it back, I actually lock it now good, so that you won't in, that it will save you the stress. Cool. So can you see it right now? So I've, I've locked it. So let me check the next I'm going to do right now. Wow, it seems I have deleted the, the font, <laughs> the picture so good. So the next thing I guess I'm going to do right now is to click on the plus button again, click on shape, then you make it circle, then you bring it down here. So you can actually okay it, still give it circle. Then you zoom it a little bit, zoom it a little bit, then you place it here. After you place it here, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to click on this, then you change the color to this actually. Then you erase um decrease it, then you show it at the middle. So good. So sometimes I should have used uh, what they call it. I should have used um what they call it um. <sighs> so you just click on set back. I should have used stroke to do it, but I don't fancy that stroke. So seven p.m. So let me say they want to start by seven thirty. So you just click on it, then you give it your time. Anytime you want to actually do it. So you give it this. So after that, you put it down here, then you change the color to black color. So let's go. Cool. So you just actually increase it a little bit. Decrease it, then you help something like this so that it will fit in. Wow. Okay, I want the AM to be. So decrease it a little bit and let's check if it's going to fit in. Then you actually you can use your position key to. Wow, sorry. You can use your position key to. So do it to let me zoom it back. So let me zoom it very well. Good. Good. I guess it's okay. So let me zoom it back. Let me see. So okay. So can you see that it is actually okay by me now? So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to click on my plus button. Then you click on shape again. So after you click on shape, just just do it like this. Just just okay like this. Then you move it back like this. So you just edit it away. Okay, good. So let me, let me hit it back a little bit. Good. So I'm going to leave it like this. So it's good. Okay. So let me shoot it. Let me put it up like this a little bit. Good. So can you see we are moving forward? So what I'm going to write here? The next thing I'm going to write here is to click on my plus button. Then write something. Don't forget I'm using just only three. Only three. Um. Only three font here. Yeah? So after you writing your something, the next thing to go now is to go to your font. 
go to your font 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 then you give it Motestarat uh, both italic so actually this one so you give it italic yeah so both italic so can you see it right now so good so that means I'm still using only three fonts but I'm using only three fonts if you can actually check it away I'm using only three for Motestara since but but um different as old is it the same as old and um, different what they call it good so after that you just duplicate it a little bit then you write uh july you need this you want to give it to it so let me see how to write july 23rd so give it like this okay just leave it like this leave it like this then you actually give it something tiny so you go to your fonts again so whenever you want to download this material just make sure you download all the all the household so you just give it medium italic so can you see good so can you see that it will use a little bit of so that just put it here good. so can you see that i'm going to go tell you good to go so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to just bring this on a little bit down because i'm writing something under it so i'm going to write something like this good so after that next i'm going to write now is to click on this july then i write for more inquiry or for inquiry for inquiry so i'm going to change this a to capital letter with for inquiry just write any of the number of your choice so let's go and let's go and let's go and let's go so after that you put it here then you go to your color now and change the color to this you know we are not using the same thing so you have to change the color so that there will know something is actually another thing that is up there so just place it around here Good. so can you see this so you can actually zoom your work and let's see what we are doing so this so uh, what they call it the this thing is not showing very well this actually for my inquiry is not showing very well so i'm going to increase a little bit they put it here, increase it a little bit they put it here so let's do the job that to decrease this on the decrease this on a little bit so that that actually one can fit in so let me check it now so this one should go down so i think i need to increase this on a little bit so i'm going to my edit then increase it to be so good so let me Put my position key let me rotate it to be see good so let's go so i think it is good so can you see what time we are right now so actually we are going to go now it's actually big right now i'm sure everyone can see it right now sure so everybody can see it right now so what am i going to do next back now so the next thing we do right now is to click on my plus button from gallery and to click on my location icon location icon so i'm clicking on this i'm using this and actually i'm actually changing the color to something the same color like this so i'm choosing this color so what i'm going to do right now is so just to um do this zoom your work zoom it very well so i can actually place that thing very well we are dealing with zoom here so take it here so let me zoom back so Actually, that's going to down. So I'm going to use my push key to do it. Good. So what am I going to write now? So the next thing I'm going to write now. So let me do this. Let me shift up a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to write now. I'm just going to write the what they call it, the name of the um the address. I'm going to copy this Prince Mendy. Then I write the address. So let me write. I'm not writing something too much. I'm writing uh, mountain of fire, mountain of fire, mountain of fire, ministry road behind Van Desbeek School. Van Desbeek. Van Desbeek School. So good. So I'm still. Let me actually do like I'm done with this. So we are still leaving it in white color. Just so now you have to reduce it a little bit. I reduce it a little bit so that you can fit in. 
if not you're going to do a lot of work here right now but actually but actually rotate this thing this thing will fit in but because i'm not rotating so let me do my work and let me fit it in so that it can look perfect uh professional so let me check this right now so you are good to go with this right now so let's check so good and everything is plumping and everything is clear so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to click on the plus button then i click from gallery so i'm going to click on the train um image so i'm going to look for the image i i i i i um m m present search so we're going for the image i think i get the 22 So let me look for the logo. So, so guys, so this is the logo. So I'm clicking on the logo right now. Then I'm going to change this code. Code. So after that, we're going to click up here. So we're not going to do any of that thing again. You're actually done with this. So just want to write the name of the church right now. So just have to place it at the middle. So let me check if it's at the middle. I don't know if we actually change it from the middle. So let's go. So this actually is at the middle right now. So the next thing we're going to do right now is to click on the plus button on this Prince Mendy. Oh, which one is yeah, Prince Mendy? Then I'm going to click on. The name of the church abraham palace christian center so go to change the capsule letter go then you actually can visit visit then you actually place it up here so can you see that everything is done here? everything is good doing well so you can actually position this one a little bit that is to be in the middle of the test so this is actually how i got this so we are done with this so the next thing you can do right now is to click on this I save as project then you save as image but i have saved it before so i don't want to save it to for my work so you click on png and on very high very high then you click on save to gallery so it will actually go to gallery and if you are new yet also, don't forget to subscribe and if you are new don't forget to turn off the notification bell to get more icon to get more videos from me sorry thanks for watching until now <laughs>